All right, we are at 517. Dylan is here with a look at our forecast. Nice now, and look at this view. Beautiful. This is the Uptown District, former federal court building there. Nicely lit up. Very lit up. You know, we always talk about the State House being lit up mm -hmm. and Lebec being lit up. But uh, the federal courthouse, the old federal courthouse and post office looking really good this morning. And do I spy, is that the moon? The moon, yep. We had the full moon on Friday, the full strawberry moon. So now uh, it's going to be probably another three and a half, four weeks until we get our next full moon. So Let the countdown begin. The countdown begins, <laughs> that's right. Hey, beautiful day out there today. Shower chances are going to hold off for this morning, but maybe a okay. small chance as we head into the afternoon. Okay. The best part, though, no more heat wave. Yes. <laughs> we can relief. all breathe a nice sigh of relief after uh, what was a, a brutal couple of days last week. It was really bad. Was it just a couple. It felt like 1,700 days, <laughs> Dylan. Yeah, it, it was a full week, but uh, now things are going to be improving. We are on the mend as we uh, head out there today. Mid-60s, that is nice. This is a nice open up your windows and let the fresh air inside. It's just a really nice start to the day. Maybe get in your morning walk today before uh, temperatures get warmer this afternoon. But hey, not too shabby of a day. I got to be honest with you. All right, uh, next eight to 14 days, uh, the green on the map represents above average rainfall. So I think we're going to be turning over a new leaf here as we head into the start of uh, July. Things were so dry in June. I mean, it was a dry June, and now we're going to be looking at some uh, more rain chances returning back to the region. This is today, by the way. Severe thunderstorm chances really holding out uh, across uh, western portions of the state. You head into central Ohio. Yeah, there's a run to the mill chance that we could get a pop up storm today, but it's mostly going to be out towards Indiana and out in uh, their neck of the woods. OK, let's talk about some weather impacts that actually matter to you. And the two days this week that I'm more concerned about some very heavy soaking rains uh, would be tomorrow afternoon and then again on Saturday afternoon. So we have those two days uh, that we're going to be mostly concerned about. So what days Wednesday, then again on Saturday? We're going to be looking at periods of rain going into Wednesday afternoon. The timing for tomorrow would be about lunchtime to 8 p.m. So I think the first half of your Wednesday should be dry. Uh, low severe storm threat. So we're not talking about the risk of tornadoes or large hail. Uh, it's going to be mostly just uh, some rain out there, some heavy downpours. For today, though, the timing again, uh, 1 p.m. in the afternoon north of Interstate 70. We're looking at those showers pushing on through. And then as we head towards this evening by about 5 o'clock, by the storms are going to be wrapping on up as we head towards Wednesday. You'll notice that we're waking up dry uh, by Wednesday at 11 o'clock in the morning, tracking another round of showers pushing in from west to east. This is kind of the appetizer, if you will. The main event is right here. And what is the timing? That's Wednesday at about four o'clock in the afternoon. The darker yellows, the darker reds on the map represent some of those heavier downpours here. And we have this leading edge of some very heavy rainfall that will push on through around four o'clock on your Wednesday. And then right in the nick of time by sunset, nine o'clock, that is over with and things should be drying up pretty nicely. How much rainfall by the end of the day on Wednesday? Well, this computer model is showing that some of you could have over an inch by Wednesday night going into Thursday. So some pretty good soaking rainfall all else being equal. I mean, if you think about it, we haven't even had an inch of rain for the month of June, and we could get all of this in just one foul swoop. So that should be pretty nice for tomorrow. Seven day forecast shows that Wednesday we have the rain and then we have that Canadian high pressure on Thursday and Friday should be beautiful, nice and sunny. And then we are gearing up for our next round of showers and storms by next Saturday, Sunday, heading into Monday and arguably Tuesday will be nice, feeling more like typical summer here across the Midwest for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Low 90s return by next Thursday, and that is the 4th of July. We'll be looking at the first few days of July, looking and feeling like summertime. Time to send it on 